here we are. I would like to introduce uh, this uh, amazing uh, textbook. That's one of my favorite books. Uh, specifically, we are going to talk about multidiscipline design optimization. Uh, this is a textbook that I have bought uh, many years ago and that you can find on the internet, but don't buy if you are interested on it, of course, don't buy on Amazon, uh, just buy in, from this website www.vrand.com, V like verify, uh, rand like random number. So in this website, you will find uh, all the information that you need uh, to know about the book, uh, information about the uh, Genesis, uh, which is the uh, general purpose software used for uh, running optimization analysis, which was developed by uh, the author of this book, Garrett van der Plaats. So let's go quickly through the topics uh, covered by, by this book. The chapter one introduces uh, the optimiz optimization concepts, uh, then it talks about uni uniqueness of an optimum convex sets, convex and concave functions, uh, uh, Lagrange multiplier, De Lagrange and the kuhn tucker conditions. Then he goes on uh, with the functions on one variable and he introduces important numerical methods like golden section methods that you will see um, also in numerical analysis. And then uh, he goes on with uh, uh, dealing with unconstrained optimization and, as you can see here, constrained optimization. First order, second, second order methods, like Newton's method. Uh, I will make, uh, when I will have the time, uh, a video about Newton's method. And um, here we have the constrained functions of n variable, the linear programming for the simplex methods and then other important methods for constrained optimization, uh, sequential unconstrained minimization techniques, uh, specifically the exterior penalty function method, interior penalty function method, and, uh, and other, the augmented Lagrange multiplier method. Of course, each method uh, is uh, discussed in terms of uh, costs and benefits associated with the method, constraint function and variables, direct methods, uh, and it talks about genetic search, uh, particle swarm, sequential linear programming, probably doesn't talk about uh, um, other like simulated and healing uh, uh, method, uh, I don't think so, if I remember correctly, and, and then other the modify feasible directions method, uh, etc. Then uh, he deals with the approximation techniques and he introduces the important concept of the radial basis function and uh, multi-objective optimization, structural optimization, the finite element method, uh, and, uh, and then a general design application. So let's uh, give a look about what he uh, says about, uh, about this book and whom is this book for. So the concept of optimization is intrinsically tied to our desire to excel, though we may not consciously recognize it, and though the optimization process takes different, different forms in different fields of endeavor, this drive to do better than before consumes much of our energy. Whether we are athletes, artists, business persons, or engineers, the field we are concerned with is that of engineering, and while the emphasis here is on mechanical, aeronautical, and automotive engineering, this is by no means the limit of applicability. It simply reflects my own experience and interest. So basically that's a book for engineers, as you might have understood already. And uh, yes, it's true, but I think in general, it provides uh, a very hands-on, very practical, approach uh, that can be useful even for mathematicians, for all those who want to see how the algorithms, how theoretical idea, ideas are applied practically. And uh, the methods presented here have gone through an extensive development period of about uh, 60 years. 
The field has matured to the point where the techniques can be routinely applied by practicing engineers to a large percentage of design tasks. He's very critical against uh, those classes that just provide uh, theoretical uh, knowledge and uh, that neglect basically the practical application of optimization, of that optimization theory that it, that's necessary for solving practical problems. Here he illustrates the purpose of the book, which is basically threefold. First, we wish to gain a basic knowledge of numerical optimization algorithms together with their strengths and weaknesses. Second, the student is encouraged to gain computational experience by programming these algorithms for the computer. And finally, a variety of design applications are discussed to identify those design areas where numerical optimization techniques have been applied in the past and where they may be applied in the future. So this book is written to be a senior or graduate level textbook, but is suited for self-study by practicing engineers. The student should have, attention here, a solid background in engineering fundamentals, matrix algebra specifically. Computer programming is useful if the reader wishes to program one or more of the algorithms presented here. An important feature of the book is this, because the principal purpose here is to provide design tool for the engineer, we will avoid mathematical proofs and theoretical discussions of the various algorithms. Instead, we will address such questions from a more pragmatic viewpoint of asking, does a given technique provide a good engineering answer in an efficient manner? Let's give a look at how it looks, uh, the book. So um, an interesting feature is that you will find many, many pictures that aid comprehension. Here there is the, uh, it's explained uh, the concept of optimum. And uh, there are a lot of examples, practical examples, where he shows how to uh, run uh, an optimization analysis. So here, for instance, we can now write the nonlinear constraint optimization problem mathematical, mathematically as follows. And uh, one uh, feature, another feature is the, the presence of problems uh, that are actually not so, uh, not difficult. The only drawback is that you will not find the solutions to these problems but the point is that they are pretty easy so you can uh, you can solve them uh, without any particular problem uh, you just another important feature of the book uh, is represented by the algorithms for instance let's give a look at this algorithm the unconstrained functions so the simplest uh, problem in one variable is finding the unconstrained minimum so how does he go about to find uh, the unconstrained minimum? Well, it shows here in this algorithm, start, find bounds, uh, refine bounds by golden section method, apply cubic polynomial interpolation to the last four points, etc., etc. This book is packed with uh, these algorithms and that, that's amazing because when I, when I have used, when I first used, I started to implement right away the algorithms through MATLAB that it was many years ago. But of course, you can use any uh, programming language. You can use uh, C++, you can use Python. Uh, another interesting uh, feature of the book is represented by the breadth of topics uh, that Thunderplatz deals with. As you can see here, uh, we are, this is a 344 page of uh, basically uh, almost 450 page book. So uh, you will find uh, applications and that, that's good because uh, it provides a big picture, simple topology optimization. And you can see basically the range of applications. So what do you actually do using the topology uh, optimization. Uh, here, stiffness optimization of a car body. And those examples that are depicted here, 
are examples that have been developed uh, through Genesis, which is the general purpose uh, software uh, that was uh, conceived uh, of by Van der Plaats uh, aircraft uh, bulk head design. And then here there is a, another case study, reducing vibration of a car mirror. It provides a different modes and model analysis. He is the author of a few important algorithms, for instance, for running model analysis to identify the eigenfrequencies. Vehicle, fuel tank, and then he provides uh, a lot of references if you make scientific research, then uh, uh, this book provides lots of interesting references. Our academic papers, and they provide a lot of information about uh, optimization. Uh, and then we have general design application. So the application, the design of the airfoil. Airfoil optimization. Sand variable chemical vapor deposition, heat transfer, electromagnetics. It's uh, the, there is a lot of stuff in there. It it provides a, a lot of useful information, especially practical information. As I said, the most important feature, in my opinion, is represented by the by the algorithms. The fact that you find algorithms for running. Uh, constrained optimization, a different method, not just a couple of methods. That's really very useful because you have the possibility to 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 train yourself. Uh, you have the possibility to test your coding abilities. And ideally, if I had to study, for instance, uh, optimization now, I would uh, I would go for some uh, programming language uh, like C++. I would satisfy simultaneously two important requirements. The requirement of using very well a programming language, because remember the engineers in general, scientists who are not able to code, uh, basically are useless, to be honest. And the second thing, of course, uh, I would be able to apply the, the algorithms uh, practically, and that's something that strengthens your knowledge about the topic. Just give a look at the, the website that I have shown at the beginning of the video. If you have any question, just drop a line below the video, okay? So, see you soon.